Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the new moon solar eclipse happening in the sign of Libra. So new moons are generally points of new beginnings, new energy coming in that we work on for the next lunar month. Now eclipses are karmic points, destined point, fated points, right? So this one is new energy coming in that's fated, that's destined, that's karmic. Now two weeks from now we will have the full moon lunar eclipse. So these two weeks right in between eclipses are very karmic, very destined and very faded so just be aware of that now this one's happening the sign of libra at 21 degrees libra is the sign associated with relationships it's the sign associated with peace diplomacy weighing things out the legal system um, you know figuring out how to find balance weighing things out like pros cons that sort of thing so with this eclipse relationships can be highlighted this need to find balance this need to find peace this need to weigh things out the legal system all these themes can be highlighted now this eclipse is a south node eclipse this is the south node also known as ketu and ketu in vedic astrology represents separation it represents letting things go it represents cutting cords right so this eclipse can highlight these themes it can be about separating it can be about letting things go it can be about cutting cords and this is not always a negative thing right often when we think of separation when we think of letting things go uh, it's not so positive, right? Often we don't think of it as a positive thing, but that's not always true. Sometimes when we let go of negative habits, negative things, negative anything, that's a positive thing for us. So what I'm saying is, let's look at this in a positive way. It's about separating, cutting things out, cutting cords, yes, but let's think of it that we are letting go of things that are not really serving us anymore. Now this eclipse is in a square to pluto right it's a it's not very tight but it is still a square and as the sun moves on and as the moon moves on it will square pluto so pluto is the planet of change transformation catharsis digging really deep into things research finding out the truth about something so all these themes can be really potent on this new moon solar eclipse this can be a very transformative solar eclipse this can bring about changes this can bring about endings and beginnings this can bring about a deep emotional release a catharsis of sorts it can lead to maybe finding out some truth right things being revealed because pluto is that sort of energy so that's something to keep in mind as well and this is a square a 90 degree angle a stressful aspect so what we need to watch out for is maybe feeling stressed right there can be changes there can be this need to let things go but what we must take care of is not getting stressed right doing things calmly taking it a little easy anyway during eclipses taking things a little easy is is good right now Another aspect is that Uranus is quincunxing this eclipse. Uranus is the planet of change, of unexpected things, of authenticity, of freedom, of doing things your own way, right? So there is an unpredictable, unexpected element to this eclipse. There is an element asking for freedom, asking us to be authentic, asking us to do things our own way. So that's also there with this eclipse. We have Mercury right here with the eclipse as well mercury is the little things it's the, it's communication it's our routine it's lifestyle it's all these things it's our immediate environment so communication the day-to-day -day, the habits that we have the routine these can be impacted by this eclipse as well because mercury is sitting quite close to this eclipse now mercury is opposing chiron on this eclipse it will it's building up its opposition it will oppose chiron very soon and chiron is about facing our wounds it's about healing from our wounds so that we can empower ourselves right and what this can feel like in a way is maybe temporarily we feel slightly wounded we feel slightly victimized we feel like this why is this happening to me right but 
always look at this as positive Chiron because what Chiron wants us to do is analyze right it wants us to analyze our pain our wounds why are we feeling this way why are we feeling victimized what is the trigger and then once we do that work Chiron kind of heals us so it's healing but sometimes to heal we need to feel a little discomfort initially so look at it like that it's like maybe you know um if you have a wound and you get a dressing done, sometimes when the dressing is being opened, right, it feels it feels painful. But, you know, going through that process of getting the dressing done over and over again till it heals is going to lead to that healing. Not doing anything is not. So Chiron is like that, right? In the moment, it can feel like I don't feel that good. I feel a little like, why is this happening to me? But try to analyze that logically and figure out why you're feeling like that to get over this Chiron energy and heal. So that's also um, possible on this eclipse. Now a few more things. We have Mars now in Scorpio. Last time we spoke, the last moon video, Mars was in Libra. Mars doesn't feel very comfortable in Libra. It loves the sign of Scorpio because it used to rule it. And what that means is that for the past few for the past few weeks, right, when Mars has been in Libra, it's been slightly difficult to take action, to get things done. But with Mars and Scorpio, this energy of taking action, getting things done, moving forward is much easier. Also, the fact that on this moon, we have Pluto direct. We've had Mercury direct since mid-September and we've had Venus direct since early September, right? So since early September, things have started to pick up pace, but more so mid-September and now with Pluto a little bit more. So things are feeling a little less slow than they did maybe end August, right? around then so with mars and scorpio now it'll be much easier to take action so that's the eclipse in a nutshell and one thing to be mindful of is that these two weeks in between eclipses between this new moon solar eclipse and the full moon lunar eclipse two weeks from now we are in a very karmic fated energy it's about destined events happening it's about you know maybe eclipses can also bring things that were meant to happen but didn't happen eclipses can really speed up things as well so eclipses are um, important points in astrology so this is an eclipse and it is important because it is an eclipse and I think that sums it up so to close it out I'll just uh, put all this together real quick and then we will wind up the video so this is a new moon solar eclipse new energy coming in that's faded it's next to the south node it's about separation it's about letting things go maybe in a square root pluto this can bring big changes this can bring endings this can bring beginnings this can bring bring emotional release things coming to the surface truth being revealed right that sort of thing in a an aspect with uranus there is a sudden unpredictable element to this as well it's about being authentic it's about doing things our own way it's about freedom as well we have mars and scorpio now easier to take action and move forward and pluto is also direct now so slowly slowly the pace of things the pace of life is not feeling as slow as it did a um end august mercury is opposing chiron so if you feel a little low if you feel like um why is this happening to me? It's temporary. Try to look at it from a logical perspective. Step back, analyze from logic rather than let your emotions take over. And that's one way of, you know, figuring out what's, what is it that's triggering you if there is something and how to get over it. So that's the eclipse in a nutshell. And being in Libra, relationships are coming to the forefront. Peace, diplomacy, weighing things out the legal system balance all these things are also highlighted most important thing look at your charts look for 21 degree of libra whichever house that falls in that's the area of your life that will be impacted by this moon and this is an extremely important new moon solar eclipse for people who have a lot of energy in libra right because it is in libra so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was useful and i will see you next time have a great day bye